Hello everyone, my name is Jamie McQuaid from Magnet Forensics and today we're going to do some quick acquisitions with some uh, of the most popular phones that you may come across in your investigations using Magnet Axiom. I've got Magnet Axiom up and running here, version 1, 2, 3. We've got some uh, basic details, case details to go up here first. Um, I'm going to name the case. Uh, I don't have a case number just because we're we're just doing using a test device. Uh, right now I've got a Samsung Galaxy S7. It's a, we'll just call it S7. It's an Edge, so I'll call it S7 Edge. Uh, and I like to name my case and my acquired evidence folders the same thing, even though they're located on two different drives. Uh, I like to separate them out just for um, uh, flexibility sake and it's actually much faster. Uh, so I split them up that way, but name them the same thing. So S7 Edge there, um, no case number, like I said. Let's jump over to evidence sources and we'll add the device. So we'll go mobile, uh, Android, and we're gonna acquire evidence. Now I've got this phone, It's uh, we're doing quick acquisitions, so we're gonna do the unlocked. We're gonna assume that I have the passcode, which I do, um, and so I can unlock the device and I can get it into um, USB debugging mode. Um, so I've done that on the phone already. I've gone into settings, enabled developer mode, and, and turned on USB debugging. Um, so I'm gonna choose unlocked. Um, you can use uh, some locked recovery methods, uh, more advanced methods for Samsung devices, but uh, for this one, we're just gonna do a quick. Um, so we've got the, the phone up here, ready to go. Like I said, Samsung phone. Uh, you can see there's the uh, G935W8, uh, which is, is the S7, um, the unlocked bootloader version, serial number there, uh, OS is running Android 7, and privilege access says no. Privilege access basically means that the phone is not rooted at this moment. Um, so what you can do here is this will help you understand what you can pull off of it. If the phone was already rooted, you can jump right to a full quick acquisition and get an entire dump of the phone great easy but it's rare that you're going to come across a phone that's already been rooted and ready to go for you so you might have to um, deal with that in a different way so um, ours is not rooted so we're going to hit next and you've got the options for a quick or a full now it defaults to the full here but um, we're going to do a quick acquisition now a quick acquisition should work for any ios or android device the full acquisition is worth a try but it uh, this is basically trying to uh, do a software route on the unlocked device now i know the routes that we have here will not work on android 7 so i'm not even going to try it um, this is usually uh, the software routes will probably only work for android uh, phones running android 4 or 5 maybe Maybe. Um, so I wouldn't even bother trying it if uh, um, you're doing any other devices other than something running for Android 4 or 5. Uh, otherwise, let's click click on the quick acquisition and uh, we'll, we'll get started from there. So I'll add that one up here and you can see the device gets added in here and it's ready to be imaged. Now I could add multiple devices here. I could add a few um, devices, uh, maybe multiple phones, computers, cloud accounts, you name it. Uh, we're just gonna focus on the phone today. So uh, we're gonna go through processing details, all the same, pretty much uh, you can add your keywords, hash lists, mobile artifacts. I'm gonna leave everything on by default. All what I normally have set up, I'm gonna leave it on and let it go through its thing. Analyze evidence is the last window here, and it's just a summary of what we got ready to go. What it's gonna do is it's gonna acquire the device, uh, and then it's gonna process it. So let's hit uh, analyze evidence here, and it will go ahead and do that. Um, so we'll give it a sec. There we go, and it's starting to uh, do the acquisition. Um, what it'll do is it'll install an agent. The quick acquisition for Android basically installs an agent on the device to pull uh, some date details, as well as doing an ADB backup. So there it goes on the ADB backup as well. Uh, the nice thing is the ADB backup will get you uh, a lot of good details very quickly on, on uh, most devices, but it's up to the apps whether they choose to be backed up or not. Installing the agent and uh, pulling some additional data allows you to get stuff that's normally wouldn't be included in an ADB backup. So I'm gonna let that run for a second. I'm gonna pause the video and come back when it's all done and uh, we can take a look at the results. Okay, the acquisition's finished. It took uh, just uh, about 15 minutes to complete, which isn't bad. Uh, I think it's a 32 gig phone with another 32 gig SD card in it. So uh, 15 minutes for an acquisition isn't too bad. You can see the start search has started now. So it's going to search the, uh, the acquired image and go through uh, looking for artifacts, keywords, hashing, and all that sort of thing when we've set it up here. And it'll go through that uh, just like any other normal processing. If you want to see where the what the image looks like, we can go to the folder here. This is my evidence images. 
and there's the Axiom S7 Edge. You open that up, you get the activity log, the image info, and the actual zip image as well. There would be the ADB image and the uh, agent data that gets stored within that zip and uh, as an image. So um, we can take a look real quick at image info, and you can see all the details that you would need um, just in case to ensure that make sure everything finished, the uh, serial numbers, IMEIs, all that sort of thing that goes along with it. So uh, again, um, hopefully that was helpful for you. Um, I'll uh, don't need to show the rest of it. If it's searching, it'll show the results afterwards. Um, but from an acquisition standpoint, everything's done and uh, it's now just processing through the actual image. So that's everything. Thanks for watching.